recognize myself for five minutes. I just, again, I want to go back to my opening remarks. I want to talk about some of the lack of transparency and just say, Secretary, number one, can you direct me to your website, your landing page, your about your office section, mission statement section of your website? Well, I have a... State.gov backslash whatever. I can direct you to the CN, the congressional notice, which had a very detailed chart that I have here, which lays but out our But every consular, office. every bureau, every, they have a, a website, tells about their mission statement, everything. Do you have that at state? Because I couldn't, honestly, myself and my staff, we couldn't find that. Well, we certainly have a location. <laughs> if you all find it, get it to we us. Use the to state it. We use the State Department website. So you use the states, but you don't have your own landing page on state that says about you, your mission statement, you name it. We check. I want to move on to some other levels of just what's going on with the hierarchy in your office. As I said, 2021 FOIA request, uh, your office replied that you wouldn't get back to it until about 2024. It's 2023. We'd like a few answers. Now, I'm not going to ask for every one of these, but I would love to know the names of the individuals that actually answer to you. Who are the ones that directly answer to you so we can know a little bit about it, your office? And then We'll give this chart to somebody in your office and maybe they can fill out the rest of the names while you're here answering questions for us. It would be very helpful. Who is your deputy envoy for climate? I have two deputies and uh, they are well known. They're very experienced people, Rick Duke and uh, Sue Biniaz. But I'm not gonna go through all the Rick names Rick Duke here. and who? Mr. Chairman, Sue Biniaz, who's one of the most experienced negotiators in the world. Is Mr. Chairman, let me just say to you. Deputy? Mr. Chairman, I'm not gonna fill them in here in this way because that would be a violation of our process within the State Department. You're not going to tell us who's I'm working not going to go office. through them by name because that is not the required process of the State Department. Who's the principal deputy for climate in your office? As I just said to you, Mr. Chairman. Who's the chief of staff? I am going to go through the normal process. Now, an algorithm kicked out that date. The, the one you're referring to. I'm not going to argue about opinion. it, Mr. Kerry, Secretary I'm, Kerry. I'm, I'm not going to argue about it. You said you're not going to answer. You're not going to answer. It's par for the course. No, I'm like going to answer said, there was a through the request. process. 2021 said it wasn't going to be answered until 2024. I'm not going to spend my time arguing about it. You said you're not going to answer now. Mr. Chairman, don't, don't just it. cut me off. What I'm trying to do is tell you I'm going to follow the process of the State Department, which is normally followed. Where there are circumstances requiring that someone know who the person is, the State Department has complied and, and done that. every office, where every there consular, is not every a requirement bureau, they have a they, hierarchy. You where go there into is the not a requirement. Base, it says Joe Biden. It says the secretaries. It says there's a hierarchy. This is standard practice for government. We I'm not have argued that it's not standard with practice. The You've been at long notification. Enough. I want to point another arrow on my chart office. here, Mr. Secretary. We presented you just help us out? that answer. Do you answer to the executive office of the president, or do you answer to Secretary Blinken? Because I have emails I respond from directly to the President of the United States, but... Directly with, to the President. That is correct. But with the Secretary, with Secretary Blinken, uh, uh, completely informed and aware of everything that But you don't doing. answer to Blinken. Thank you. Well, it's good. We just need to know for basic levels of transparency and, uh, and understanding how this works. I want to go to a couple of questions on policy. Um, it was said by my colleague, global <laughs> problems require global commitments. Um, and I want to go to some of the global commitments that you might be looking at in COP28 that were looked at in COP27. And I want to understand if you're committing the United States of America to these policies or, yes, or, or not. I'm going to just let you know. These are simple yes or no questions. I know you've researched them well. I've researched them well. We don't need an explanation of them here. So just number one, cross-border carbon trading. Are you planning at COP28 to commit? This is the number one issue there, along with uh, climate reparations. Do you plan to commit America to cross-border carbon trading, as my colleague put it, in global commitments? There's no uh, current proposal or plan that's been agreed to which would require us to do that. Do you plan on working on a global plan for cross-border carbon trading? We're exploring with a lot of countries what the various approaches might be, and President Biden has charged us to examine cross-border adjustment mechanisms in order to understand how we can deal with uh, how we can deal with the question of uh, very carbon intensive produced goods coming into our country where our folks 
are trying to uh, reduce it. I'll put yes, but say it's a maybe because you didn't answer concretely, affirmatively. I'm going to ask one more question. Well, then though, you make this a game. If you're turning that into yes when I didn't say yes, you're playing games. You Mr. said it's Chairman. a maybe. You didn't say no. I didn't. didn't say well, why don't you create a maybe and put it up there? Next time I will create a maybe. We'll put it in yellow. We'll put uh, the, the yes in green and the no in red, and we'll put a maybe in yellow. Next time we'll do that. I do want to get to one last question. I'll give you a little extra time, ranking member. And that's on this one, because I know it's another major priority for COP. And that is, are you planning to commit America to climate reparations? That is to say, we have to pay some other country because they had a flood, or they had a hurricane, or a typhoon, no, or a wildfire. Under no circumstances. Very good. I'm glad to hear you say that. I do have a no. I'll Why don't you create there. an exclamation point beside it, too, so you can get I something. will write in an exclamation point for you, okay. and I'm glad that we have agreement on that. I don't know if my black pen will work. We'll see. There we go. There's your exclamation point. Ranking Member Crow, I yield you five minutes. Thank you, Chairman. Uh